hello thank you through fans i'm back here with another video and today i want to show you a brand new series 7 apple watch but not the regular aluminum but the more premium stainless steel one so the story here is that it's only now available in our country we could only get them from some other bigger countries in Europe or United States or anywhere else in the world. But here in my country, they just were able to get officially these stainless steel watches. You know that this is my favorite design. So I'm not more of a sportsman who needs these all fitness applications in there. For me, it's more like design. I like the heavy weight of this watch compared to the aluminum one. And as I say, a video is worth a thousand photos. So let's check this box. It's really minimalistic. You can see that it has the stainless steel Milanese loop. Milanese? Milanese? <laughs> I don't know. Milanese loop. Let's call it like that. And it is the bigger version of screen 45 millimeters. Silver stainless steel is my most favorite of all the watches. The last time I got a stainless steel silver watch and you can see the video somewhere up here, I put the link. That was the Series 4 stainless steel watch. It got a de defect, so I had to return it back. So I never owned actually a stainless steel Apple watch, but it changes right now. Let's unbox this beautiful device. So here you have these just Pull out both sides. Then you open up the box and nothing really changed since the stainless steel watch unboxing for the Series 4. It has two boxes inside. The one is for the watch here. You can see it shines with silver sides. So it's a little bit raised clock design here that's a nice detail and the other one is for the metallic stainless steel magnetic Milanese loop and this is the inside of the box with all the different colors and designs so that's the box let's put this away now I don't know which one do we start to unbox? Hmm. I would say let's unbox this watch the last. As we usually know, there's the green arrow. You just need to pull it here. And then open up the box here. And it's really easy to get it out. You just swipe it out way so here you can see to attach the band slide it until you hear a click adjust band to fit close to your wrist to optimal performance to remove band press button and slide out that is like that here there are these two buttons to choose complimentary watch face, touch and hold the watch display or open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and tap face gallery. So let's don't waste any more time. And you can see this shiny stainless steel Milanese loop. So we can pull it out like that. And that's actually all there is. You can remove this one. And of course, you don't have to pay premium for this one. There are really cheap <laughs> options out there that look actually similar like this one, but they may not hold that well as this original stainless steel loop. And there is this magnetic attachment. Oh, there's the paper inside. Let's remove that one too. And it attaches magnetically like that. Okay, one thing aside. Now let's open up this beautiful watch. So once again, the green arrow here. And we have arrows on both sides. And 
And here we go. This is the box from inside. And here you can see that they put it right now for environmentally friendly paper. Earlier it was a cloth material. You can already see this shiny watch inside. It has the red ring just because it shows that it's compatible for the GPS and supports the eSIM so you can go outside without your phone and make calls with this watch. So what else is in the box here? Some paperwork that nobody cares for. Nothing special there. And the charging cord. But once again, no more power adapters. They are not present in the new Apple Watch boxes too. So you will always need to buy this charging brick separately. So that's the box here. And this is the charging cord. As you can see, it's the USB Type-C. That wasn't the case earlier. I think it was the regular old USB port. But what's changed, and I think it was all metallic here, because the aluminum watches had plastic all around, but this is a mixed version where plastic is inside and the metallic material is outside. So it's not stainless steel, it's actually aluminum. So they are making a little bit cheaper materials and accessories for the premium watches now. That wasn't the case when the Series 4 stainless steel Apple Watch came out. Okay, let's remove this paper. And the thing is, now you can see it. It will never again be such shiny and without any scratches like right now. So the thing about the stainless steel watches, they claim that this screen is sapphire crystal, so it doesn't scratch or doesn't damage that easily like the aluminum watches that have only the regular glass here. But the thing is, these stainless steel watches collect scratches. You can scratch them much easily, this part, as compared for the aluminum material. Aluminum scratches much less than this stainless steel watch. It holds a little bit more weight, like this is a heavier watch compared to the aluminum, but everything else is practically the same. And for me, I love to control my music and player here. I love to switch volume up and down, scroll the volume here, because I have AirPods and I can control the volume on my AirPods. So this is a perfect tool for hearing music. And for me, really, it's more about the design than for many fitness applications. So let's try and put this loop on till we hear a click. And the second part here. And now we just open it up, adjust to our wrist. It's not easy to film and <laughs> put it on. And it's like that. And this is how the stainless steel watch looks on my hand. really really beautiful beautiful device beautiful accessory do you need one I am not sure I think most of us don't need this premium shiny stainless steel watch but I'm I always like the premium design more people who really use this watch for productivity or fitness they don't need this shiny metal here on their wrists they are absolutely okay with the Apple Watch SE that is cheaper than the regular aluminum Series 7. And if you are deciding to buy a brand new Apple Watch right now, I would suggest you wait till later this fall because a Series 8 is really, really near and they may change the 
design of this watch. Really, this design is almost seven years old. This square design, I mean, and the bigger screen started from the Series 4 till this year, till Series 7. So this watch may be the last one that shows us this square design. I don't know, I cannot confirm, but they say that a new design may come very soon. Maybe not this year, but if you are looking to buy a Apple Watch right now, I would suggest really please wait till September, October or late November just to see how the new Apple Watch Series 8 will be. So that's that, guys. I hope you like this video. I will show you a little bit more other views on this watch. And thank you for sticking with me. If you like this video, if you like my other videos, other technology videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any future videos like this one. And let's meet in the next episode of Tech You Through.